No. A little bit more space in here today. We're going to start on the floor, lying down on our backs with our bands, resistance bands, down by the sides. I like before, got to call at one, but I've said I'll be a few minutes late, so I'm just going to leave going on one. That's fine, I've got Nick afterwards, so I have to start the next part. <laughs> okay, cool. We're all good. So legs straight out, and we're going to interlace the fingers, we're going to turn our palms away, and we're going to stretch the body. So reach your arms into extension, drawing the hands down towards the floor, the let arms close in towards the ears. Shoulders down as you lengthen a bit more through the arms if you're drawing away from your shoulder joint. Pull your toes in towards you and slide those heels off the ground as we're stretching down the backs of the legs. Take a long deep breath in, allowing your rib cage to expand out to the sides, a gentle lift of the lower back and exhale. Everything draws back down to the center, rib cage draws in, lower back flattens. Do that again. Long deep breath, inhale and exhale. One more time. Let's see if we can lengthen the arms at the same time. Push the heels further away. And as you exhale, just release the arms, slide them out to the side, T shaped palms up. Pull the shoulder blades together, bring the legs close in together, and point the toes away. We're going to take a long deep breath in, squeezing the belly down towards the base of the spine, waking up the core, lifting our left leg up towards the sky. Once it hits the top, engage your abs, lift the right leg up. Pause. Take a breath in here. Exhale, left leg drops down all the way to the floor. Right leg drops down. Breath in at the bottom, toes stay pointed, right leg lifts up towards the sky. That 90 degree angle, squeezing the belly, lifting the left leg up to join. Pause at the top and drop your right leg down, followed by your left. Breath in at the bottom. Exhale, lift the left leg up. And the right leg. Sorry, Marianne, I just saw that you were trying to get on. With I know, I know. It's a bit rare for me to come on, so thank you. Pleasure. Just what we're doing is lifting one leg up, followed by the other one. Left leg drops down, right leg drops down. So our arms are in T shape, right leg up. And then the left leg lifts up to join it. So we're just waking up the core. Our right leg drops down, and our left leg drops down. We're going to do that one more time. Left leg up, right leg up. And just pause there. Now draw the toes down and push the heels away and straighten out through the hamstrings. So we're going to bend the heels to the bottom. Bend the knee so the heels come to the bottom. And then extend the legs straight up towards the sky. So the feet towards the ceiling. Inhale, bend the heels all the way down to the bottom, flexing the knees. And then extending the knees, pressing the legs back up to the sky. And bend. And extend. And bend, one more time, extend up. We're gonna pause here and take a breath in. On the exhale, we're gonna let our legs float over to the right side, it's not too far. And then as you do so, bend the knees until they brush the floor, if you can get them there, left leg, sorry, left arm to the floor. Inhale, float the legs up, extend the legs at the top. Pause. And then begin to float the legs over to the left. Only once they float that way do you bend your knees and let them brush the ground. Try not to lift the arms off the ground. I know that's not always possible. Extend the legs. Let them float over and then bend them. Eye gaze to the left as you drop your knees to the right. Squeeze the belly, lifting up and extend. Marion, if you have a band, Okay, have a band. Um, and if not, light weights or nothing at all. 
Now, as we drop our legs over to the right, we're going to bend the knee. We're going to brush the block. Take a pause. Take a little stretch. Let the legs rest. Grab them if you need to add a little bit more into it and just stay here for three breaths. Just to um, get a kind of twist through the spine and let your spine just kind of get used to that movement. Release the arm, engage the abs, lift the legs back up to center, straighten the legs up to the top. Take a breath in as we drop our legs to the left, bending through and dropping them all the way down this side, left arm on that. Thigh and open your arm out to the right, eye gaze to the right. Three breaths. Release the arm, lift the knees in to the center. We straighten the legs up and then we lower them gently to the floor. Either one leg at a time or both legs together, slowly, slowly, so they land on the ground. Take a breath, grab your bra brand, your band. Hold the band above your shoulders. We're gonna do a little bit of back work, arm work. And we're gonna bend both the knees up to tabletop. And nice and easy to start with. We're gonna inhale, open the arms out as you exhale, lengthening one leg forward, hovering off the ground, and then bring the band back in. And swap into the other side. So if you're not using a band, you can just have a little bit of a light weight and just work with some little weights doing flies. Or just do the arm action. You might just want to have your arms here and maybe do an opposite arm to leg extension. That's a nice little alternative. Then bug. It's moving. Huh? It's moving, folks. It's not fair. Well, it's a dying bug, isn't it? Yeah. Like, help me, step on my back. All right, let's try and get a little bit more resistance on the band. You want to feel those arms really pressing away, your core active as you kick one leg away, making it slow and controlled. We're going to do eight more. Those arms a little bit wider as we can. So three more, you should be around that number. And you're doing the last one, pop the feet down and take those arms carefully behind you, relax them to the ground, like you're making a V shape through the arms. Feet and knees and hips aligned. We're going to take a breath in. We're going to roll up into a bridge. Now, if you don't lock your arms up and overhead in a bridge, which basically takes off, but well, kind of makes it hard to have your arms over because you haven't got that support in the top of the rib cage. So bring your arms down if you need to. We're going to take a breath in. We're going to exhale, lift our left leg up to the sky, point it to straighten it out. Then, Dorsal flex your feet, toes down, heels away. We're going to lower that leg so it levels up with the right thigh. Point the toe, lift the leg back up for one. Dorsal flex, drop down. Point the toe, lift up for two. We're going for eight repetitions. Every time you lift that leg, squeeze your right butt cheek to keep those hips strong, stabilized. Push that left leg even straighter. I've lost count. Now, what are we on? Six? Yeah. Seven. One more. And then pop the foot down. Lift the hips up. Take one long deep breath. And as you do so, just feel your buttocks squeezing to elevate the hips a little bit more. And take the weight to left leg, right leg, high to the sky. Pause the pointy toe. Flex the foot. We're going down. Point the toe, lift up for one. Two, squeeze that left butt cheek again, stabilizing that hip. Three, four, straighten the right leg a little bit more. Five, last three, make them strong. Last one. 
And then bend the knee, pop that foot, the brow, and lift the hips. And lower, slowly rolling out that spine. Till it settles down for that. Bring the arms back up above your shoulders. Draw the shoulder blades under. Fix in a little bit more through the spine. Abs on. Knees back up to that tabletop. Now we're going to repeat that exercise. We're going to give you a couple of options to make it harder or easier. No, not easier, maybe harder. You can lift into a crunch and hold your crunch whilst opening the band the whole time. Or take your legs straight and lower one leg at a time with straight legs. Whether you're in a crunch or whether your head's back on the ground, it's nice and strong on that band. So we basically want that band to have so much resistance that when you open it out, my arms go full extension without locking my elbows, but I'm not touching my chest. So you've got to be really forceful. And then you want to make it harder, move the legs quicker with the arms slow. Try that for coordination. As one leg comes up, you pull the band in. Eight, seven, six. Come on, get those legs moving a little bit more. Five, four. Work it, work it, work it, work it, work it. Two, plus one. And then drop your head. Take the band around the front of your chin or knee. Roll the band up around your hands and then use that grip to pull the thighs into the chest. And a little roll side to side. Just a little massage into the lower back. And then... We're going to roll up down to heated. Right, get that band around the soles of your feet. Oh, just in sweat, yeah. That's it. Good workout for a here. Excellent. 50 minutes on that treadmill. You told me you shouldn't go on the treadmill. You're running back. He said I was running. Point. Right, let's work some obliques. I was going to look at Okay, <laughs> lift up tall to begin with. Get a lovely posture. Put your shoulders back. Elevate your chest. Draw your abs in. Enjoy, enjoy a little bit of a hamstring stretch. So really flex those feet. Lift the heels to the ground. And then we're just going to gently roll back. So feel the resistance of your band to begin with. Then loosen it. So you're kind of holding it up here with your own strength. Turn your palms down, and all we're going to do is rotate. If you can, tap the elbow to the floor without moving your legs. If you can't, that's fine. Just stay up here and just go as far as you can go. Heels off the floor. Heels back on the floor now. Now your hip bones are dead still. Your thighs are squeezed together. And you're rotating and turning that waistline. Turning those shoulder blades. Squeeze it. If you're not feeling you're working your back a little bit more, get a bit more resistance and pull deeper into it. Three more each side. Rotate a little bit more. Feet flat on the ground. Now, when you come to that last one to centre, roll it up just by bending through the arms. Lift up to shoulders back, chest. Slide your hands a little bit less resistance. Scoot the belly in, we're going back down. We're going to work the biceps. Palms up, elbows in. Bicep curls up to the shoulders, straight back. If you want a little bit more of a challenge, just take your choice. Slide one foot out, lift that leg, and bicep curls one leg up. It just activates your transverse abdominals. Now, 
And then when you've got to 10, swap them over. I don't know how many I've done, but I did three to start with. So Let's call it seven. On there. 10 more on the other side. 10 more if you do both feet. See if you can drop a little bit further now. The legs flying up much. Go with the belly and go deeper. Biceps are letting now. Four. Three. Two. Last one. I've got to lift the leg up. <laughs> Roll it up. Just take it around both the feet. It's not really there. Walk down as far towards your feet as you can go. Get really firm grip. And then use your arms to lift into your beautiful straight posture. And then dive forward and let's stretch those hamstrings as you catch the feet, do so. Oh, mine are tight for my, my walk jog. Set it to the maximum of elevation and walk quickly, that's all. I was doing steep hill, flat sprint, Medium hill with fast speed walk, sprint, and repeated like that. It was really horrible. What did you do? Good though. Oh, because um, my my brain is overwhelmed with school stuff with my kids. I, I've never known anything like it. I've never known anything like this term. Had a nervous breakdown last night about it. Actually, <laughs> what's going on? Yeah. And because I can't upload some of it to my husband, because I'm here, I'm like, Why? I think I need a wife. <laughs> no, either that or you just sometimes just apologise to the school and go, I'm sorry, I completely missed that. I had no idea. So that. Yeah, that, I can understand what I'm like. Okay, release your bands. But they find me quite amusing. I have no idea what's going on. Well, they're working parents, most of them, so they're not understand. Exactly. They do, they do, they're good. Right, hands and knees. What's that music? Hands and knees, please. Stop with that music. Oh, going. Just oh, it is going. I thought that was the speaker. Right. Band or no band, entirely up to you here. We're going to work opposite arm to leg. Um, so we're quite we know there's quite strong band, so up to you. One side at a time, our right leg stays on the floor, our left arm stays on the floor with the band tucked underneath it. And the movement is simply simply the right arm, left leg drawing in. My back stays flat, I just stay to a hover, and I release the cow. I'm not going to use a band because my shoulders are fired up from a painful workout yesterday. <laughs> Inhale, centre. Exhale, extend. And it's just as effective without a band. You work on length. Four. Six more. Find your balance, tuck your right toes if you need to. Now we're all going to get to that last one. We're all going to come back to the hover. If you've got a band, release it and extend out one more time. We're going to take a little move out to 45 degrees, back to centre. Ten of these, out. And nine, so abduction of the shoulder and the hip. Seven, I gaze straight down. Don't move the torso, feel the side of your waistline, controlling the movement of the leg. Last three. One more. And come back to center. Take a curve of the spine and release it up. Bring yourself down to your elbows. Opposite way, just lifting your chin, lifting your bottom, letting the foot the back dip down, taking the pressure off the shoulders, slide the shoulder blade together. 
Keeping your shoulders in that position, draw the tailbone under and flatten your back, squeeze the belly, tuck your toes under, and lift up to dolphin. Pressing the heels down towards the floor, squeeze the belly to raise the hips a little bit higher, lengthening out through the spine. No pressure on those arms, should feel quite comfortable. We're going to lift the left leg up. Keep the hips square and straighten the leg as much as you can. That left leg straight to the sky. Draw the knee in and lower your hips down. So you might just slide the right toes back a little bit and then lift up again. Now, if you don't want to do one leg in one of these, drop down to a hover. Lift up. I'm um, can't get a grip of my toes. Sliding all over the place. Lean in. Lifting up, so basically a squeeze to a crunch and then extension and length. Squeeze to a crunch, extend and length. So roll forward through your toes. Yeah, drop your knees instantly. That's good. Three more. Forward, push away. Last one. And then drop your toes, drop your knees, take them wide. Come to chop. Think you need to do that. Reach out the arms, elbows extended, and then drop your head, chest to the floor, so stretch down the side of the back, and then stick your bottom down into your heels. Hold it up, put your hands and knees, and go to the other side. So if you use the band on your right arm, use the band on your left arm now. Put that these right hands down. Your right leg is up and your left arm lifts with the wiggle without the band. Find your balance, lengthen out, take a breath in, exhale, just come to a hover and extend away. Inhale. Okay, on that left foot if you need a bit of balance. Six more. See if you can stretch away a little bit more. So we've got two more. And we hold the last one out to extension. Reach. Make sure you haven't sunk into your left hip. I can feel myself doing that, so then pull myself up. And we go out to 45 degrees, back into centre, control through your waistline. Your left butt cheek. Six. Five. Four. Three. Last two. Come on, reach, reach, reach. Last one, last one. And drop it down. Curve, that's fine. Release through shoulder blades. Curve, squeeze in, skin the belly. And then as we flatten out your spine, drop down to your elbows. Lift your eye gaze, let your back dip, let your bottom stick up into the air, and just relax the shoulders away from the ears. Stop your toes when you're ready, dump it. So again, we're trying to lengthen out through your spine, lengthen out through the backs of those knees, but dead straight, heel to the floor. And if you wish, you can lift your right leg up to the sky. If you're not going to lift your leg, you can just leave both feet on the ground. And then we just slide our left foot a little bit further back. And we come forward, scooping the belly in, tucking in, pulling everything in tight, and pushing everything away. So we must come forward, so our shoulders just come further over our elbows, and lift high, trying to keep the left leg Dead straight. The alternative is just lift here, drop here, lift here, drop there. Four more. 
Squeeze your butt to lift that leg high in the air. Last one. And we turn the toes, drop your knees, wide knee stance. And bring your arms down to rest by the sides of your legs. Let your shoulder blades fall apart. If you want to make your knees a little bit narrower to get your arms a little bit more freedom, then do so. You might even want to catch your heels. Curl yourself into a little ball. Roll it up. Bring your feet around in front of you. Grab your bands again. <coughs> so earlier on, we had our bands around our feet and we were rotating. We're going to do something similar, but we're going to do it holding the band this time. Um, and we're going to go one side at a time and then twist the other side. So we lift and lengthen up. Get the belly in again. Arms come forward. So we opposite arms stabilize it and we open out and come back in. Same side. Two. We're going to do eight. Three. So if you want, you can just do the arm movement. If you don't need a band. Six, squeeze those legs together, seven, eight, straight to the other side, do it. Seven, right arm stabilized, six, five, four, come on, turn, 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 three, two, one more. And roll it up, release the band, put your hands together, lift your chest out of your shoulders. Oh, they're a bit shaky, my shoulders today. You, you're only really making me on. Oh, it fits me on, I love it. Because you're controlling you your breathing. Let's put it that way. Well, no, that sounds good, doesn't it? Right. Back with those bands again. Bring your bottom a bit closer towards your heels. Take your arms up and roll yourself down to the floor. Take those arms back behind you into that V shape. Just keep a hold of the band. Abs on. And then we begin to roll the hips and lift up into a bridge. Back where we were earlier. Squeeze through your buttocks to elevate the hips a little bit more. This time we lift the left leg to the sky. We hold the leg up there and then we squeeze the right butt cheek, pushing down to that right heel to lower the push up. So you sink the spine, feel that curvature, and then you roll back up again. If you don't want your arms up behind you, bring them down by your side. Squeeze them down. Resting up. Straighten the left leg as much as possible. We're on for seven. Look up for eight. Come on, press into that heel. Get those hips as high as you can go. One more. Hold it up, hold it up, hold it up. Keep the leg straight, lower it down to the floor. And squeeze the buttocks and lift the hips. Now the right side with a bit more powered up here. Press into it. Five, four, three, two. Raise it up. Bend the knee. Drop the foot. Lift the hips and roll it out. Arms drift above the shoulders. Engage those abs again, lift the knees to tabletop. And see if you can extend your legs up. 
Now, if you don't like the legs dead straight, you can do some bent knees. So the arms are doing that same movement again, but we're going to work the arms and legs together. So we open out wide, V shape, pull in. You can do it in a crunch if you wish. And if you want more in your tummy, you simply lower your legs back 45 degrees and work at a little back foot. But listen to your body, don't let your um, lower back take over. Open wide. Are you amusing yourself? I find it very amusing. Everything's opening out to wide V. I'm back in. Eight more of these. Get a little bit more resistance on that band if you can. Six. See if you can crunch. Five. Straighten the knees more. Three. Two. Love one, love one. And bring the feet together to the round, that bad round the knees, roll it in your hands, and then pull the thighs in and rock the toes. Yeah. There's worse positions than that. <laughs> Which we don't need to explore. No. <laughs> Again, we don't have bridges here to learn the toe. No. Or more. That's part of the <laughs> <I'm laughing. laughs> The arms come back above the head, V-shape, feet to the floor. We breathe in, we exhale, we roll those hips back up. Let's take it to the other side. So when you're ready, right leg up to the sky. And then once it's there, the left buttock needs to squeeze up more. Then we inhale, roll back to the floor, exhale, power up into that left side. Gets too much, bend the knee, or just pop the right foot down lightly to the ground, keep the pressure in that left side. Things up, come on, work it, get deeper, give me four more. Turn the arms if you need to. Last one, lift up, hold. Get a little bit more elevation. Point the toe on that right leg and lower the right leg to it touches the ground lightly through the heel. Squeeze and lift those hips as much as you possibly can. Both buttocks, left thigh powered up. Push down into the sole of the foot to feel a little bit more activation. Four, three, two, and right leg lift up. Bend the knee, pop the foot down, roll it out. Let it settle. Get to butterfly position, sole the feet together, and just rock the knees side to side to loosen up completely that lower back. Quite a lot of pressure in the joints in your back from doing a one side at a time. It's very important to work one side at a time, but just got to be very wary that we've always got a weaker side. So just loosen it all out here. And we're going to use these bands to stretch. So I'm going to fold mine in half. I'm going to keep my right leg with the position it's in, but take the band around the left foot and straighten it up to the sky. So you'll feel it, you'll feel like your left buttock slightly elevated off the ground. So just try and pin it back down by using the strength of your band. Now look at what I'm about to do. I'm going to turn my toes out to the left. I'm going to take the band in my left hand wedge my arm inside that leg and try and open it up behind me. Oh, yeah. yeah. So the leg is not necessarily going down to the floor, it's going behind you. And straighten as much as you possibly can. Push the toes down towards the floor, straighten the knee. Go deeper. And then carefully bring the leg to the center and then roll the right foot to the sole of the foot. Now the knee's pointing up to the sky. We're going to take this left leg 
across, just so it sits above the right hip. Turn the toes inward, heels out, straighten that leg, and imagine you're trying to drive your buttock down to the floor. And you're trying to pull your toes down from the small right shoulder. Great. And you should feel that around the outside of your left hand today. We return the leg gently back to centre. And then we're going to pop that same ankle over the right knee, removing the loop. Pull the right thigh in, let's stretch the buttock. Head down, shoulders down, open the left knee. Sometimes it's nice to take a little rocking motion before we get deeper into the stretch. Open the left knee, drive the right side in. Okay, release that leg and just put the right ankle over the left knee. Just start the stretch in the buttock, little rock side to side, maybe. Find that place of stretch and just draw the left side in to open the right knee out. Couple of breaths. Great, wrong music, the wrong part. Right, so grab your band, the left foot down, take it around the loop, loop it around the foot, straighten the leg up, and as you do so, let the left knee roll out to the side, but you roll the outer edge of your foot. Straighten that right leg to begin with, begin the hamstring stretch. You will feel your right buttock is not really parked on the ground at the moment. But just begin to turn the toes out behind you. Bending the knee, bringing your right arm inside the knee. And we're opening that leg out as far as it will go behind us. Moving our back end. Hurting my left hip. No, it should be stretching right in front of your hamstring and inner thigh. Mm. Why, where are you feeling it? No. About you straighten your leg. Now open the leg a little bit more, pull your toes towards your right shoulder and straighten out that knee. And let's go the other way, bring the leg back. Pull the left knee in, so it's pointing towards the side, and let the right foot drift over the left hip, turn the toes inwards, heels away, and drive the toes down towards your left shoulder. The buttock will automatically lift up, but then try and pull your right hip bone back down to the floor. Get a strong stretch on the back up. Nasty outside part of your hamstring. Okay, let's let the leg drift gently back to the center. Bend the knee in, release the band. Grab the back of the thigh and just roll yourself up to seated. I was going to use those blocks to use to your hamstrings earlier on, but I forgot to use them for the last time. And then just a sit cross legged. Take your left hand on your right knee, right hand space the spine, show a little side twist behind you. Pull the right shoulder back and you can cross it.
if you can, raise that back arm up and side bend towards the left knee. That's where the block might be helpful. And um, reach. It's a nice lower back stretch. And then bring the arm back, back to center. Then you go to the other side, left hand behind you, right hand of the knee, lift up first, and then twist. Now we'll raise the left arm, side bend towards the right knee. And then release it, bring yourself forward. The knees, let your shoulders just roll, settle. Open your arms, breathe in up to the sky. Exhale, bring yourself down. You are done for the day. Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh. Oh. I always feel like I can't move when I get up for there. <laughs>